All right, let's talk banjo stuff. Uh, <clears throat> my, I, I think I mentioned earlier that I found someone that could supply me with a banjo head, <clears throat> and it's here. It's this is a uh, a clear head that can go right on top of that Dynaflow torque ring for my banjo. <clears throat> this is a banjo hoop here. This is off a, uh, a Fender uh, banjo and it's an 11 inch hoop. That pot is a little under 12 inches. It's close to like 11 and 3 quarters. I think it actually comes out to 11 and what is it? 5 eighths or something like that. <clears throat> anyway, this hoop, this is the, the ring that goes around the top that holds the heads down and the bolts go into each one of these notches and it's going to have to be stretched. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Stan's and see if he can cut it right here. This is where this hoop originally joined together. You can see there's a little notch there where they bring this hoop around and weld it together right there and see if I can get him to cut it right there. Widen this out by a little bit and then weld a little piece in there to make it wide enough to fit down over that. So. I'm gonna ring him up and see if he's home this morning. If it is, I'll, if he is, I'll take it over there. I also got a uh, a neck. I went online. Uh, there's a company that makes these necks. You can get a lot of necks that are made out overseas uh, in Taiwan and such, but this is an American-made banjo neck. It's raw. It hasn't been finished, uh, including the headstock. There's nothing up here uh, to. You know, I would have to put a piece of wood on that. And I've got this other neck. I think I showed you guys this other one that I found upstairs. This is a, 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 a oh, sorry. This is a neck that I had located on eBay at some time in the past. I'm pretty sure this is probably made in some third world country or something for a not too expensive banjo. But it's a pretty decent neck. It says made in Italy. It's got a crack in it there. I didn't realize. Huh, it's still it's still do and ain't cracked enough to ain't cracked enough to well, it is cracked all the way through, but I don't think it'll fall apart, so I expect I could get by on it. So I got a couple different neck possibilities here. <clears throat> so and I actually went ahead and got while I could get them, I went ahead and got another head in case I do another one of these. I'd like to do more. I've been looking at getting some shoes and hooks and things uh, basically these are shoes here and these are the bolts or hooks and then you've got the nuts that hold them on and of course they come in a variety of different shapes and sizes um, i've got a set of vega shoes on an old vega style end that got damaged in a flood and i've taken parts off of it but the shoes are still on it so I think I can get a set of shoes off of that one. I've got some hooks that are cheap hooks. The expensive hooks are expensive. There's some old cheap hooks up there. And I've got some more up in the attic in my pile of parts. So uh, <clears throat> I'm still gonna look through what I got and see what I wound up using for that. But I can't do anything today. I need to get over to stand with that uh, tension hoop and get it worked on. So I'm gonna bring him up. We'll go see him while we're over here. We'll see what he's into.